friends, welcome to Creative Art. I am Nilima and in today's tutorial, we are going to make this beautiful personalized art resin palette. And this is how beautiful and glittering it looks. You can also write your own name instead of Creative Art and add different shapes of glitters as you like. I have kept it transparent on the sides and giving a very beautiful and simple centerpiece with a lot of glitters because I love love glitters. So friends do watch the complete tutorial to make a beautiful palette of your own and do subscribe to creative art for more creative art tutorials and do press the bell icon so you don't miss any updates on a recent art form. Now let's check out all the materials we need to make this beautiful resin art palette. First of all, we are going to need Expo Art Resin from Little Birdie which comes in two part, clear and hardener which we have to mix in 2 to 1 ratio, two parts of clear resin and one part of clear hardener. The best thing about this resin is it can be mixed according to volume. That means you won't always be needing a weighing machine unless you need a good quantity of resin. So you can simply use a spoon or any small measuring unit to measure it in small volumes. The next best thing I like about it is it emits very less amount of fumes as compared to any other resin and it also has an auto bubble release formula which brings all the bubbles in the resin on the top so that can be blown away easily and once the resin is cured, it is said to be food grade. So we can make art palettes, coasters, even resin trays using this resin. The next thing I'm going to use is a resin pigment. I'm going to use two different colors of resin pigment. First is a peach color and second is you can mix a little bit of red with peach to make it look pinky peach in between color. So I love it. And the other is this translucent color. This is called Mica Powder Rose Dust from Little Birdie. Next are a few glitters that you can use for this palette decoration. On the border side, I'm going to make use of a few beautiful star and heart glitters. Here are some variety of glitters you can use. The first is Fairy Dust. This is Sheer Rose color. And this one is Heavy Metallic Golden Heart. This one is heavy metallic crimson heart and this is a metal micro beads mystic rose. So this is the color I'm expecting for my palette this time. Next I have here a custom made name written creative art. You can pick up any name you want for your palette. A silicone jar, few ice cream sticks and the most important is our palette shaped silicone mold in which we are going to pour our resin and make the final form of this art palette. You will also need a gas torch to blow out all the bubbles from the top and a measuring unit as we are going to measure at least 100 grams of resin at a time. All these materials will be linked and listed in the description box below from where you can buy them online. And friends, if you use my code, which is NILIMA5, N-I-L-I-M-A-5, you will get an additional 5% off on entire purchase from itsybitsy.in. Now let's start the tutorial, friends. First, I like to prepare my palette even before I'm mixing my resin. So this time I have placed my palette inside a big wooden tray on which I can easily cover using this clean fill foil so that our resin pour will be protected from any dust particles or even any small amount of hair. So this is how I like to cover it after pouring and even before I have started pouring. Now let's start mixing some clear resin and for that we are going to use Expo Art Resin which comes in two different parts. First is clear and second is a hardener from Little Birdie. We have to mix these two different parts in 2 to 1 ratio that means two parts of clear resin and one part of hardener. Before starting mixing of resin do read all the instructions which are given on the back side of this bottle. So now. First of all, we'll start our electronic measuring unit. Place a silicone cup on the measuring unit and then press the button tear to bring it to zero. And now here I'm pouring 100 grams of Expo Art Resin clear. Here we have got 100 grams of clear resin. And now I'm going to add half of this quantity which is 50 grams of hardener which will in all make it 150. So 
filled. Here we have finally got 150 grams of clear resin. To measure this resin by volume, so you can simply use a measuring spoon. For that, you have to take two spoons of clear resin and one spoon of hardener. Make sure you're using the same measuring spoon while measuring both. And then using an ice cream stick, mix this very well till at least five minutes. Now after mixing the clear resin for 5 minutes, this is how it looks. Now let's start mixing some pigments and here I'm going to use mica powder rose dust color from little birdie and this is pearly dust. Use a little quantity, okay, just this much would be enough. So nowadays there are different types of mica powder, pearl powder or powdered pigments available for resin and if you want you can definitely give it a try in this tutorial i'm going to use a pigmented powder which i just bought from a local store just to try and then again i have a silver pigment this can be bought from any different art store i bought them from my local stores and now Add a little bit of resin in both the containers and then using an ice cream stick give them a very nice mix. When all the powdered pigments get very well mixed up with the resin you can add more resin in this container. Okay mix both the resin pigments very well. So this is pink and this is the white one we got. You can add a little bit of glitters in both the resin pigments so they may look really really good but you have to make sure that you have mixed both of them very well. Here is our clear resin ready to pour. Okay now here my palette is already ready. My clear resin is also ready so let's start pouring our clear resin. First I always like to pour it from corners so that there is enough amount of resin in the corners. I'm going to use the silver glitter. And finally, pour a lot in the center. Now again, pour my next batch of silver. Pour some clear resin everywhere. Now use a gas torch to heat up, heat up all the bubbles. This much torching is enough. I'm just using my spatula to spread out some of the pigments in the surrounding. So this is how it looks and now my final attempt of glitters I'm going to pour some star glitters here And now this is how our pour looks with a little pink and silver look in the center and surrounding it with a lot of silver glitters. Now friends, I'm going to cover it up for at least 10 hours and then we're going to do our next pour. Now it's been 5 to 6 hours. So the condition of resin would be jelly. I'm going to remove the upper covering. Okay, all the stars have come in the center which we did place on the sides but they have come on the center. Now my plan is to place creative art exactly like right here. So to place the sticker you have to place it on resin and then gently remove these sides. Okay, got a little breakdown here. Okay, 
made best use of my tweezer. The R came out really wrong way. Okay, finally we got all of them right. Wow, looks pretty, really pretty. And now here I have got few dry flowers that I really, really want to place. After placing the sticker, I have used few red hydrangeas and two petals of orchid and decorated the center part in this way. And now friends, I'm going to input all these beautiful silver glittering stars on the empty places because that was my original plan. So now I have to do everything manually. So I'm going to pick stars one by one using a toothpick and place them manually in this way. Now after placing all the silver stars, this is how beautiful beautiful our palette looks. So now here friends, I have mixed more 60 grams of clear resin and this is how it looks. I'm going to give it one last mix and then we'll pour it on our palette. Okay, so gently pour it on your palette in this way. And this is going to be our final layer because this tray can be easily made in just two simple layers it doesn't have to be very thick or very bulky let the resin spread all around the tray I simply like to lift it up and then let it flow Now use a flame torch to pop out all the bubbles gently in this way so that we may get a clean and clear top. Okay, so this much would be enough. Now friends, I'm going to cover this palette for at least 24 hours till the resin gets cured completely and we have a very very nice and beautiful painting palette ready just within 24 hours. After the last pour, it's been 24 hours and let's check, yes, the resin is completely cure. So now friends, let's start peeling off the silicone mold. So this is how you have to do it. Just from one side, start separating the silicone mold in this way. It's getting out really, really easy from all the sides. And now start separating the mold with the tray in this way. Just the last piece is remaining which is this part. Gently push it over and yes this is how easily neat and clean the tray came out. Wow, it looks so, so beautiful. All the glittering stars look so beautiful. And this is how it looks from the back. Very, very simple, straight, nothing bad. The sides are transparent. There are just few sharp edges which you can easily remove using a sharp cutter. I'm going to remove it this way. You can also scrape out the excess in this way.
And finally, this so beautiful, smooth, glittering and clear, our resin art palette looks. This is a great idea to create something personal of your own and you can also gift it this Christmas. It looks so beautiful and look how clean and clear the resin is. And using a resin palette for acrylic painting and oil painting is the best because this will keep on going for years and years in your painting life. So friends, do give it a try, make it yourself and do tell me in the comments below what do you think about this beautiful art palette. And if you do like my tutorials friends, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.